Hey folks, welcome to the Clear Creek Cabin. So I've had a lot of people ask us what we put down as a footing for our dry paddocks for our donkeys. I have a lot of contacts in different groups and uh, organizations that have asked the question, so I figured today I'd just give you a little background and uh, feature what we did here in our two paddocks. If you watched our videos before, you saw that we built our initial paddock in a matter of just a couple of uh, weeks because we bought our donkeys and we needed to get them here very quickly. We wanted to make sure we got them here from where they were. They weren't in the best of condition there, so we were very happy to get them here. So we worked very quickly, two weeks, built that paddock and uh, put down the uh, manufactured sand base. From there, we built the second paddock, which is much larger, and we built their donkey dugout in there as well as you've seen in our other videos. But um, I haven't really talked to you a lot about the sand base. Basically what it is, it's called manufactured sand. It is a DOT type sand, Department of Transportation sand, that's used very frequently in construction projects as bases for roadways. What they'll do is they'll put down a crush and run, a very, very uh, heavy duty um, compaction type material, and then they'll use this as a leveling material because it compacts very well. If you keep it somewhere between three to four inches thick, it gets very, very hard, um, almost, almost like a um, asphalt. Um, it will still dig up, of course, and it will still kick up. You'll see from the marks, you know, in the paddock where they run, they still kick it up. But um, it compacts very well. It stays very, very dry. Today is an extremely rainy day. We've had an awful lot of rain over the past day or so, and it stays very, very compact and very, very dry. Of course, it's wet from the rain, but it doesn't get sopping wet. Um, it doesn't become a muddy mess like most of us have experienced, you know, in our paddocks before if you don't use any kind of footing like this. Um, we've shown it, obviously, to our vet. We've shown it to our farrier. They've both been here, and they absolutely love it. They think it's the best thing we could possibly put down for donkey's hooves or even equine, you know, any other kind of horse's hooves. So, what I'll do is I'll go through and show you a little bit of what it looks like um, so you can kind of get an idea um, what we did. The manufactured sand is also referred to as granite fines, uh, rock crusher fines. It is again, it's manufactured. It's not a natural sand in nature. It's a manufactured process. What they do is in these uh, rock crusher locations, they crush up all of the rocks into little tiny little pieces. And um, the sand is a little bit more coarse than the normal play sand or regular sand that you would have, um, you know, that you'd buy uh, in a um, Home Depot or, or Lowe's or something in a bag. Um, and, and that stuff stays way too wet and doesn't compact at all. So uh, we'll walk you through here today and show you uh, what it looks like. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to uh, reach out to me directly. I'll be glad to help you if I can. Um, it's worked very well for us and uh, hopefully it'll do the same for you if you decide to use it. So when we started building our paddocks, this basically is, is a view of what the area looked like. And again, if you went back to my first videos, you saw the areas that we cleared out. So we had a lot of woods and a lot of trees that we took down a lot of the small scrubs, small trees, dug up a bunch of roots, dug up a bunch of tree trunks, and then, you know, to create the, uh, the paddock that we did. So underneath all of this is the good old Tennessee clay that we have, a real, real muddy mess, as you can see how it would be. So that's basically what's under the paddock. This is the second paddock that we built. And that's the daytime donkey dugout that we've shown you in other videos. And then this was the first paddock that we built for our donkeys. So let's talk a little bit about sand. So as you can see, there's some little rocks in here that we have in here 
but basically this is the sand. It is a very coarse part. Leave my hand alone. See, Dad, but Dad, you gotta pay attention to me. Dad, Dad, pay attention to me. So basically you can see it's a very, very coarse sand. Um, it's the biggest pieces are about maybe three sixteenths of an inch. And the other pieces are very, very fine, as you can see, but it compacts very, very well. Um, as you can see, when I press down on it, how hard it gets and how it feels, it's not really light. So it's about maybe four inches thick in our thickest areas. And you know, it gets down even thinner in certain areas because the donkeys will run through it and uh, they'll uh, kick it up. But it works very well. Um, I'll take you over and show you another area that we had some wash off. And the real steep areas like this, as you can see, there's a little bit of a, of a downgrade here that comes down. It probably drops about maybe two feet, three feet from the top part up here to the other edge over here. And in some of this area, we hadn't gotten it really, really thick. So underneath is the mud, of course. And you can still see it. You can see how the mud, uh, how the mud is in here. But what's great about this is that if I just rake it back over again, and get it covered, it compacts very, very well. Um, so they do have a couple little muddy spots in here like this that they can get into, but immediately when they walk off of it, you can see what happens is that once they walk off, anything that's in their hoof, like this little clump that they had of dirt, falls right back out and lands on, onto the uh, sand. So you can see the little clumps throughout the area here where they've walked and the little clumps have kicked up from their hooves. So I've got to rake this all out again because it's uh, washed up a little bit where they are. But again, it gives you an idea what it looks like and how it works. It keeps the paddock very dry. Here's my little girl. Here's my good girl. Yeah. Keeps the paddock very, very dry and uh, keeps their feet very, very dry. Keeps them from being constantly muddy. They don't have mud up around their uh, their, their hooves too bad. They do a little bit. You can see that they get it from their from their feet a little bit. I'll show you his foot. Yep, nice clean feet, no mud. So the other thing that's great about it is, is that it's very easy to pick up the poops off of the uh, off of the sand, and it still stays nice and clean. Uh, you always get a little bit of sand with it when you pick it up, but that doesn't really matter. Someday we'll have to replace it, I guess, after we, we have a few years of picking up sand with the poopies. But it picks up very, very easily, nice and clean. And the little small pieces you can just pick up with the edge of your fork. And it makes a nice clean area. All set, ready to go. One of the other things that happens all the time is the donkeys will lay inside of their stable and they'll get the little bark chips all over them and then they'll come outside and they seem to drop them all over the sand. The great thing about the sand, it's also very, very easy to, to clean up with just nothing more than a rake. So if you do get little teeny pieces of uh, poo that have broken down because they've done, they've decided to do the Macarena in it, which they do a lot, um, you can very easily just rake it up with a rake. A metal rake works really, really well. You can rake it up very, very lightly, and you get up all the little pieces of poo, you can get up all the bark chips, and it becomes very, very clean after that, and very, very nice. You know, it's not a muddy mess, it's not filled with poo anymore. What's great about this footing, too, is, is that if you're very good about keeping it clean in the summer and getting all your poops picked up very, very frequently, we had almost a zero fly problem last year. Um, there's no poo on the ground for the flies to hang around and be on. Uh, no poo, they don't bother the donkeys. So it's uh, worked out real well for us. And then you can just kind of just pick up the pieces. Now again, you're going to get some of the sand with it when you pick it up. So obviously it's going to have to be a renewable resource. You're going to have to put more sand down ultimately at some point in time. Um, but again, it, it works very, very well. And it cleans up very nicely. Extremely, extremely easy to maintain. 
one of the things that they you do have to take into consideration is that you should not free feed your donkeys on the sand. Obviously, you've probably all heard of something that's called sand colic. So you don't want to feed them on this. That's why in our daytime donkey dugout, you probably saw that we put down stall mats. And on the stall mats, if they drop a little bit of hay on there, they'll pick it up and they'll eat it. But very little sand is involved in that. We try to keep the sand off that as much as we possibly can so that um, you know they won't have any big intake of sand. So that's pretty much it for uh, how this works. Again, you're welcome to reach out to me. Uh, if I can help you anyway, I'd be more than happy to help you and give you whatever guidance I can. Um, I'm no expert, that's for sure. But um, this has worked very, very well for us, and I uh, very highly recommend that you consider doing this. Um, in our region, the sand runs about $40 a ton, so it can be pretty expensive. Um, total here uh, on the paddock for the two paddocks, I think we put down pretty close to 40 tons of product. So it's not an inexpensive thing to do, but I think the, uh, the long-term effectiveness of it is really worked out for us. And I, I, I'm envisioning that we may have to add a little more sand sometime over the next year or so. So we certainly won't get 20 tons of it. Um, you know, we may order five or 10 tons of it, so it won't be too bad. And we'll just kind of use that to fill in low spots or anything that we've, uh, we've lost. We haven't lost a lot. Uh, we've had this going on uh, nine months, I guess it is now. So it's worked very, very well for us. So again, you're welcome to uh, reach out to me. Um, on here on the YouTube channel, my email address is available. You're welcome to email me. I'll be glad to help you any way I can or make any suggestions. And uh, thanks for tuning in and watching us. Um, really appreciate your support. And uh, come back and see us. Thank you.